I'm gonna show you how you can build a one product Shopify store. And I'm not talking about one of these super cheap looking dropshipping stores that I see everywhere. I'm talking about a super high quality and branded Shopify store that's customized for mobile and for desktop. Here's a little sneak peek of the store that we are building today. I don't know what it looks like yet, but I'm gonna try my best to create a really nice and really high converting Shopify store. Whether you're planning to create a store for your own brand or just a dropshipping store, it doesn't matter because the process is essentially the same. So let's get started. First step is that we go to Shopify and claim our 14 day free trial, Shopify is linked in the description. Right here you have to enter a few information and also a store name, but it doesn't matter what you name your store because it's gonna be changed later. Here Shopify asks you to answer a few questions, but you can just skip that. In the next section, Shopify asks you to enter your personal information, so let me do that real quick. And here's what the Shopify dashboard looks like, and the first step is that we're gonna download a few apps. And the apps that we're gonna need for our Shopify store are Oberlo, if you do dropshipping. If you don't do dropshipping, you don't need Oberlo. Layout Hub, Vitals40, SMS Bump. To download the apps, you just go to the Shopify App Store right here on search, type in the name of the apps and download them. Vitals40 offers a 14 day free trial but after you're gonna be charged $29.99 per month. So therefore you're gonna to need to add your payment information. Also keep in mind Layout Hub doesn't offer free trials $15 a month, but trust me, it's so worth it. And after you install the apps, all of them are listed right here, Layout Hub, Oberlo, SMS Bump and Vitals40. If you do dropshipping, I'm gonna show you real quick how you can add your product. You just go to Oberlo, and then you go to import list, click on add product by URL. Then you're just gonna paste in your AliExpress product link that you wanna dropship. Hit add product. Once the product is imported, go back to Shopify, click on products. Under the tab all products, you will see that your AliExpress product is listed. What we have to edit it a little bit. Just click on the product listing. And then you're gonna edit the product title the way you want. And because I'm building a store for the banana cat bed, I'm just calling my product the kitty nana bed. And then you're gonna scroll all the way down and right here you can see all of the different variants for your product. My product is available in yellow, blue, brown, green, pink. And I think this is quite overwhelming so I'm gonna get rid of a few colors. I'm gonna select all of the colors I wanna get rid of, in this case creamy white, green and brown. And under more actions I'm gonna select delete variants. The next step is then I'm gonna edit the price of my product. So I'm gonna select all different variants, click more actions and edit prices. Here you can set the pricing for your product. So I just did that and as you can see under price you can see the new price for my product. Once you're done make sure to hit save in the top right corner. Now we're gonna edit our product page. Most people just edit their product page right here but as a result your product page won't look really formatted and won't look really nice so we're gonna use a page builder to create our product page therefore just go back to app click on the app layout hub. then click on create a page product page and start from blank and right here on the left side we have the option to add different layouts that make it much easier to create a product page and to do that just hit add layout and here under the product template, you can see all kinds of different templates and you can really choose the one that fits best to your brand. So let me choose one real quick. I'm just gonna take this one and I just hit import and template is imported. Then we're gonna add some more sections. So I hit add section again. And I'm gonna add this section and it's called why buy this. So I'm gonna hit import and it's gonna look like that. Now I'm gonna add one more section because I wanna have a sizing chart on my page. And here on the features I found this template which looks really nice to create a sizing chart. So I'm gonna import that real quick. In the next section, I wanna show another chart that really highlights the different services that my store provides, such as free shipping. So I'm gonna hit add section again. And I think this template right here looks actually really nice to do that. Right now it looks really blank, but we're gonna edit everything later. Now I'm gonna add two more sections and then we're done for the product page. One gallery section and one FAQ section. I think this one looks really nice, so I'm gonna import it. And now one FAQ section. And I think I'm just gonna stick with this one. All right, so now we have added all of these different sections. It looks extremely blank. So now we're gonna edit the text and the pictures. And here on the left side under editing and section, you can edit the different fonts, the different font sizes, you can add the pictures, so basically everything. And I think this is gonna be pretty easy, so I'm gonna edit my product page and show you the result real quick. Let me walk you through my product page real quick because this is the most important part of your website. I decided to go for the title, a bad your cat will go bananas for because I think it sounds really cute. And I've also added this font right here because it has a playful touch and I think this fits extremely well to the brand. As you can see over the add to cart button, I added a few bullet points and this is super valuable real estate for your website. These bullet points are striking arguments why somebody should buy my product and I really want to give the website visitor the final push to add my product to cart here. And I've added a few product pictures here that I've just gotten from AliExpress, so nothing crazy. Here's a little drop down menu as you can see for the different colors and the different sizes for my product. In the Why Buy From Us section, I added a product photo and also the product highlights. And I just added some bullet points because I feel like nobody really reads long text. The next section is a little sizing chart to avoid any misunderstandings regarding sizing. Then there's a What To Expect From Us section where I'm featuring the highlights of my store, such as free shipping. The next part is just a gallery to show the product in different scenarios with different cats. For the FAQ section, I added 
added this little banner right here to create a sense of urgency to really make website visitors convert right now. Last but not least, we have this little FAQ section right here and that's pretty much it for the product page. Now that our product page is done, we go back to the Shopify dashboard because now we are creating the different pages for our store, such as contact us and track your order. So just go to online store and then go to pages, click add page. The first page that we're gonna add is track your order. In order to create the track your order page, you just click on show HTML. In the description of the video, there's a Google document that you're gonna open right now. And then you're gonna scroll all the way down where it says tracking page script and you copy this code right here to the bottom and you're just gonna paste it in right here and hit save. And after you paste it in and hit save, it's gonna look like that. All right, so let's go back and add another page. And this one's gonna be the contact us. And here on the theme template, you just select contact, hit save, and that's it. Then go to your settings. And on the right side, it says legal. And here we have all the different policies, refund policy, privacy policy, and terms of service. And you're just gonna hit create from template. Then you're gonna copy everything, open the online store in a new tab, pages, click add page, type in refund policy, and copy the whole thing in and hit save. Then we go back and do the same thing with the privacy policy and also with the terms of service. But keep in mind when you create the template from the privacy policy, hit command F and type in your address and get rid of it because otherwise customers can see your home address. And then it should look like that. Refund policy, terms of service, privacy policy, contact us and track your order. Now it's time to set up the navigation. So just go here to navigation, click on the main menu. The first one that we're gonna change is the catalog. So click edit, type in the name of your product. In my case, it's the Kitty Nana Bed and select products. And since we have a one product, so we just click here on products and then you're gonna select your product and hit apply changes. But let's add some more items and I'm gonna add track your order. Here on the link, you go to pages, track your order and hit add and you're gonna do the same thing with the contact us and after make sure to hit save then we go back and now we're gonna add all of the different policies to the footer menu because they don't look nice when they're in the header so add menu item privacy policy then you go to pages privacy policy and hit add next one is the terms of service so again you click on a link then pages and select terms of service, hit add. And the last one that we're gonna add is the refund policy. So type in refund policy under name, go to pages and select the refund policy, hit add and then save. The next step is that we're gonna add our confirmation email. So just go to settings, notifications and click customize. Under logo, you can add your logo. I've created my logo with a website called canva.com and Canva makes it super easy to create your own logo. Here on the left side, there are different templates. One of them was the cat head, the banana and the circle. And then I've just put them together in a way that I think looks pretty nice. And this is my final logo and I think it's pretty cute. And here where it says accent color, you can add your brand color and I would really recommend you guys that your brand color is the same color as your logo because it's gonna look really nice. And once it's done, make sure to hit save. Now we're gonna set up the order confirmation. So let's go back to the template I gave you, go all the way up and you're gonna copy this whole thing. And I know guys, it's a super long section, but we gotta do it. Then you go back right here Click where it says order confirmation. Then you're gonna highlight this entire email body and hit paste. But we have to change something. So open the online store in a different tab and go to pages and click on track your order. Right here under track your order, copy this entire URL. And what you're gonna do now is you hit command F and type in your store. And now you're gonna see this URL that says HTTPS your store name .com, pages track and you're gonna replace that with the URL that you just copied. And then you're gonna hit save. And what we just did was we added a tracking link to our confirmation email so you won't get emails from your customers asking where's my order because they can conveniently track their orders by themselves. Right now our store is already looking really nice. However, the theme that's currently installed in our store is the debut theme and it's looking really basic. So when you go to online store here, you can see a preview of what the debut theme looks like. Theme is basically the overall style or the design of your store. In order to make our store look a lot nicer, we just go to thebeautify.com and download the debeautify theme. And as you can see, it's free. So I'm just going to click here on try to beautify Put in my name and my email address. And right here, you're just going to paste in your store name URL. 
that's my store name URL and hit try the beautify for three. And then the beautify is gonna forward you to Shopify where you're gonna install the beautify app. Now that the beautify app is gonna open up and we're just gonna hit download theme, just hit add to theme library. It should look like that. And then you're just gonna hit customize theme. All right, and the first thing that we're gonna do is to edit our colors. So we go to theme settings and hit colors. And as you can see, the main color of this default setting is this purple, and we're gonna replace it with our brand color. In my case, it's yellow. Go here on background and paste in your brand color. And you're gonna replace the purple with your brand color in all of these following sections right here. You can play around with these colors, but I would recommend to use not too many colors and focus on one main brand color. And I've just edited my font as well. You can do this under theme settings typography, then you can select the font for your headers and also for your text. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of a lot of add-ons that are currently installed and are not really necessary. So we're gonna go to theme settings, click here on the beautify add-ons and at the moment there are 57 add-ons installed. Okay, so let's deactivate all of these add-ons together. So I just got rid of most of the add-ons. The only ones that I kept were trust badge, shop protect, page speed booster, page builder, and that's it. And now you're gonna hit save. All right, so let's edit our homepage. So just select homepage right here. And we're gonna start with the announcement bar. And at first I'm gonna uncheck show social medias, show email address and show phone number. And I'm also gonna get rid of the follow us and the get in touch with us and hit save. And I'm gonna click back and where it says message, you can add a little message here on the announcement bar. And I'm gonna choose free shipping worldwide. So I'm just gonna get rid of the 30 day free returns and make sure worldwide and shipping is in caps. Then I'm gonna hit save. Then right here where it says add section, we're gonna add a section and I'm gonna choose a slideshow. Then we're just gonna hit add slide. And it's up to you, you can either add one picture, one video or multiple pictures or whatever you want. And I'm gonna select this one that I've edited with Canva. I think this looks pretty cute and fits super well to the brand. And you can customize the text in any way you want, but I'm personally, I'm just gonna get rid of it because I already have text in my picture. And I'm also gonna get rid of this learn more button because I think one button is already enough. For the shop now button, make sure that it links to your product. So I'm gonna select products and then you're gonna select your product. So when customers click shop now, they're gonna be redirected to your product. Also, you can see that there's this yellow overlay over my product. You can customize this in any color you want, but I personally, I'm just gonna get rid of it. But it depends up to you. Under the slideshow, we're gonna add our product. So when customers scroll down, they can see the product. So I'm just gonna select featured product here. Click on featured product and click select product. And then of course, you're gonna select your product and hit save. Also, you can see all of these little features right here, but I would recommend to just get rid of them. So I'm just gonna deselect all of them right here because I think it's just annoying. And hit save. And as you can see, there's this guarantee section here. I'm just gonna customize this real quick. And you can do this by clicking on guarantee. And where it says our guarantee, you can just edit the text. All right, so I just added these three right here. And now it's time to edit the footer, which is the bottom part. In the about us section, I can edit this little text right here. And I'm just gonna add the text, the bed your cat will go bananas for. And although you have a contact us section, I would definitely recommend that you check show email address. And right here, when you click on the footer, you have all of these options here. For instance, here show social media icons. And depending if you have social media pages or not, you can leave this checked or unchecked. I'm just gonna uncheck this for right now. Also, what I would definitely recommend you to uncheck show powered by Shopify and show theme by Dutyfy because this just looks unprofessional. Okay, all right, next we're gonna hit theme settings again, advanced settings. And as you can see right here, it's really hard to read the menu. So I'm just gonna disable the transparent header and now it's looking much better. Also, if you only have one product in your store, I would recommend you to disable the search. All right, then we're gonna go back and click on header. Because as you can see right here, there's no logo. So let's add our logo. And also make sure to add your logo on mobile. And if you want, you can customize the size of your logo right here. The theme is done and now there are only a few more steps until we can launch our store. But guys, please hit the like button because this video takes forever to make. Thank you so much, guys. So I'm gonna exit right here. Hit settings, then you go to shipping, and then you're gonna hit manage rates. Not really comes down to where you wanna ship your items. You wanna ship them in the United States or you also wanna ship worldwide. If you only ship in the US, for instance, hit add rate. Now you can add a custom shipping rate or you can just offer free shipping. I'm just gonna add free shipping and make sure that the price is at zero. 
and hit done. If you ship internationally, you basically rinse and repeat for the rest of the world, but since I'm only shipping in the US, I'm gonna delete this zone and hit save. Now it's time to set up the payment provider, which is really important so you guys can actually get paid. So hit settings and payments. And right here on the green button where it says activate Shopify payments, you're just gonna click that and fill out your bank details where you wanna get paid. Underneath, you can also set up your PayPal account. If you do drop shipping, I can recommend you to not do PayPal because PayPal doesn't really like drop shipping. It may happen that PayPal is gonna ban your account and freeze your funds, which is actually not unlikely. Now that this is done, we go back to our settings, go to plans, hit choose plan, and in the beginning, the basic plan for 29 is enough, so hit choose plan. Then you select monthly and click start plan, but keep in mind, you have a 14 day free trial, so you won't get charged in the beginning. Right now, nobody can access the store because it's still password protected. So just go to the search bar and type in password, and it's gonna pull up your online preferences. You scroll all the way down and deselect enable password, get rid of it and click save. The store is done, people can order from your store right now, but if you want to do well, you have to set up the apps that we installed in the beginning properly. So let's do that. So let's go to apps, and I'm just going to start with Vitals 40. Start the free trial. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is product reviews, and we're going to import a bunch of reviews from AliExpress. So I'm just going to click here on product review reviews, click on products, and click import reviews for new products. I'm just going to paste the link, uh, select the number of reviews, I would recommend 100. 4 stars and up and make sure not all of them are 5 stars because this looks untrustworthy. After the reviews are important, make sure that this feature is actually enabled. So the reviews pop up. Right now when I pull up our website, you can see that reviews are imported. So you can see the stars over the purchase price, which really gives you social proof. So your website's gonna look way more legit. Also when you scroll down all the way up on your product page, you can see a bunch of photo reviews right here. This is gonna make your website look really trustworthy. If you have any issues with importing reviews or this app in general, you can just use this chat feature here and chat with the Vitals for your support. They're super responsive. And then we go back to the Vitals dashboard, click see all apps and add a sticky add to cart. I would recommend to deselect show product review stars because it can be a little overwhelming and make sure it's turned on. What Siki Add to Cart does is when somebody's scrolling down on your website, there's this little Add to Cart feature right here so you have a call to action at all times and this is super powerful. And then we're gonna add one more feature from Vitals 40. So we're gonna click here, see all apps on the Vitals 40 dashboard and we're gonna hit Upsell Builder. Then hit Create Discount Offer, Volume Discount, and then you're gonna select your product right here. Discount type, make sure that percent is selected. Click add new tier, hit three. And this feature gives you the opportunity to give customers a discount if they order more than one unit. And I'm gonna do it this way. If customers order two products, they get 5% off. If they order three products, they get 10% off. So customers will be incentivized to order more than one unit. And this is what it currently looks like. So let's customize it a little bit. Now I personally like this super basic layout that you can see right here. And I'm just gonna hit save and it's done. All right, so let's check out how it looks in our store. And as you can see, it just looks super nice. The store looks super professional super clean and I personally would definitely buy from my store because it looks really convincing in my opinion and not only does it look good on mobile but it also looks really really good on desktop. And there's only one more app that we have to set up and then we are completely done with our store and all of our apps and we are ready to roll but it's really important to set up this last app properly. The last app that we have to set up today is called SMS Bump and I was able to generate an ROI of 70,000 with this app which is like absolutely insane. And here's a quick tutorial how you can set up SMS Bump and how I was able to achieve such a crazy result with this app so make sure to like this video subscribe and I see you next time